Hey guys, we're back. Woohoo! Welcome back to Frankie and Callie, where we take you along on our adventures, talk to you about our goals, and share weekly vlogs. Today we are talking about how much money you should save up for a move. So as you guys have probably heard by now, we are planning to move across the country and we really wanted to start planning our budget now. So we got some quotes, we did some research, we looked into a few things, and we wanted to share it with you guys too because you might have the same question. So moving vans, we've done intensive research on this topic, mm -hmm. specifically because it costs so much. Yeah, this is definitely the biggest expense. And for us ourselves, we've gotten a few quotes already and now we're even getting moving company ads on yeah. Facebook and Twitter. Every and time I get on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so they range from 2000 to I know it sounds scary, but $10,000 to get it professionally mm -hmm. moved, especially when it's across the country. If you just think about all the hassle. And yeah, especially if you have a big house and lots of family members that you're moving, even pets too. I know they wouldn't be on the van, but just like all of their stuff too. Also, if you are transporting your car with a moving company, be prepared because that was a big expense that we found out. So we're still figuring out if we want to do that or not, but definitely do your research for that one. Mm -hmm. And now we need to talk about packing materials. Think of all the stuff that you want to bring with you and you need to pack it. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize how expensive this was, but luckily it's also the most inexpensive portion of moving. So we found that it can cost anywhere from $200 to $800, again, depending on the size of your house and how many things you're bringing with you. Mm -hmm. So we did some research and one box alone can cost anywhere from $0.98 cents to $17, depending on like the size of the box, if it's one that has like a um, a rack for hanging your clothes on. You can get really fancy. Mm -hmm. But we also have a hot box saving tip and you should watch our 10 things to know before you move video linked up above. It's a great video and we'll, you can learn more there. Six rolls of packing tape also cost $12 at Home Depot. Think about how much tape you're, you'll need. That can add up quick. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. And bubble wrap, like a, just one roll of bubble wrap, again, depending on the size and how much you need, can cost between 6 to $60. Yeah. yeah. So transportation, how you're getting there, whether you're going, you're driving there, you're flying there. Do you have pets? Because you're going to need to get either a flight seat for them, mm -hmm. which can get costly, or you, you can just have them along on the ride yeah. when you're driving, driving down there. So This can cost anywhere from $300 to $1,000 plus, depending on how far you're driving. You need to think about hotel stays, gas. Necessities like food, <laughs> snacks. Yeah, so really think about this one and have a plan B, mm -hmm. C, and D, because a lot of things can go wrong and you should really know what you're going to do. <laughs> yeah, and now we need to talk about housing. So after doing some research and some budgeting, we found that this is at minimum $2,000. If you're renting, be prepared for a security deposit and at least one month's rent. And then if you're buying a home, you need to factor in a down payment. And then if you need to get house insurance and all of that stuff. But if you're also looking at temporary housing because you're in between looking for an apartment or buying a house, that can add up quickly. So this one's a big one. A lot of things can go wrong during your trip, so you'll definitely want to have an emergency fund. Mm -hmm, for sure. Whether you get a flat tire, um, you have to stay, in, you have to stay an extra night at a hotel, just uh, just stuff like that. You really have to think about what can go wrong and just, mm -hmm. just have it saved up. And for this, we said at least four hundred dollars minimum. So these are our closing thoughts. Really, the total does depend on your current situation. You need to think about how far you are moving, how many people or animals you're moving, and then just other things like how big your house is that you're packing up and moving somewhere else. So really take this number that we're about to tell you with a grain of salt because it could fluctuate and it just does depend on you. Drum roll, please. Six thousand at least. At least, <laughs> yeah. So after adding up all the numbers and you know putting in a little wiggle room, that's the number we came to. So at minimum, it could cost you $6,000 to move. Again, it depends on you and your family situation. All right guys, so that's what we have for you. Thank you for watching our video. Again, make sure to watch our 10 things to know before moving video linked up above. We're so happy you were able to join us today and don't forget to like and subscribe.